find it. Where are you at? Oh god. That's just because you're wrong. Okay, sorry. 411. He, he can take it up. Yeah. No, you. I will explain everything to my commissioner and he will gladly explain it to you. Now, I guarantee you, you're not going to be talking over the commissioner. I so, just get him here and I guarantee I will. It. Keep an eye out for yeah. it. Um, He's here. Can someone just point out that I'm getting murdered right now? Murdered? Yeah. They put me in the same cell as the guy in jail and I'm still in cuffs. I've reviewed the footage from his, um, the camera which was concealed in his glasses and it appears to me that he did not act out of law or Florida statute in any way, he was merely citizens arresting a person. We're going to do what we did yesterday and you take one half the county and I'll like take the other half. Yeah, I will just communicate through Bluetooth like usual. Yep. Hopefully a car won't get stolen this time. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> County 411-626, copy the message. Go ahead for 411. Six two six fifty one. Look, units, domestic disturbance. Nine three four. Closest street on the map is coming up. It's hot as State Route fifty eight. Six neighbors yelling at a resident. The verbal at this time. Unknown weapons. Unknown. Unknown history. Oh, we're responding to that. We are. Oh responding yeah, hundred percent. I got an SUV. I'll be there in no time. Sorry, sir, I'm gonna clear you off of your ten fifty. Shit. San Andreas one three five. One three five. Each on myself and five two nine ten eight ten ninety eight off of call five eight six zero. Three two sir. Oop, hit that fence. County six two six. Literally less than a minute. Ahead. I'm right around the corner. Show me ninety seven. I'm not seeing anybody here if I'm not the right spot. Just be careful. It's fine. It's legal. Briefly, sir, show you 97 there. You're 1806. I would be advised additional is. 43 is that I keep we didn't have Dave. a street address, but the, the postal was all of that. The call I'll find the police get. officer. Um, 10 I'm going to check other houses in the area. Briefly, sir, 1807. Yeah, we're in the area, so I can turn GPS off. 411, I'm clear. Let me know if you find it, Nick. Yeah, I will. I hear sirens. Yeah, I hear them too. I'm just trading a police car. Oh, I see a car drive. That's you, I think. Want a black car? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably me. You going parallel to us? I'm on 934. On the road. I think you guys are on the wrong way. I know, I did this County on purpose to see if I can find it. 1807. Sounds like someone's in zeroed. Mm -hmm. There's like a See little estate yet? here, but there's no. Oh! Did you find it? Where are you at? Oh god! <laughs> I just, I just tased one someone. Unit. I have someone deploying tasers to another Oops. party. He hit your car, man. He hit your car. I'm a, I'm a stringer. He hit your car. 411, I'm clear, sir. Your unit. I think I'm getting arrested. Is en route to you. He just hit your car Should with a baseball bat, man. Additional call back to the I was trying to help. Did you not see that? Now. I saw that. I'm gonna put here we go. Oh, anyway, because I'm all out. Okay. Go. Come and record it. I'm doing that. I was trying to stop him. I hit your car. Perfect. Thank you, sir. 41166 Rick. Go ahead. Stringer I arrested. Through, uh, I was Stringer. up on the hill. Are you down below it? Wow. Negative are was they... right where you were earlier. Two parties came up. One of them, I believe, is a Stringer, and the other one hit my vehicle with a baseball bat. I'm looking for him right now. Um, I wish I could say something. 10-4, I'll advise you when I'm back. 
Ten four. I have eyes on him. He's running eastbound on the dirt road, paralleling Road sixty eight. If I can get another unit to respond to me. Parallel sixty eight. All right, put the cameras away. We're gonna run, 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 I've uh, got explosions outside the uh Just do slash metro. VCAM again to uh, get out of Why is my car glitching out like this? Uh, police station. Explosions in Sandy. That's the that. police station. Four Sorry, we're, we're getting you. that uh, uh, on foot. Ten four, can you stay with my vehicle? I have the other party posted inside the vehicle. I'm going to catch up to back in on my screen. in yeah. five seconds. He hit four the car left. with a baseball Three bat. Oil so... I was trying Negative to get the former citizens arrest. The dirt road paralleling the airfield. Former citizens arrest, there it is. Yeah, that's oh, what I was trying down, to do. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, 35 limit on country road. 411, you guys, you have 1, 10, 15. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, 10, 10, we have 2 times 10, 15. You can show 6 to 6 Shit. and myself 10, 15 each to Sandy Shrest Rouse office. Why? They're not even getting my side of the story. Why? Also, also, County, can you send a 1070 to 924 no, for I want to talk um, to someone. One party's vehicle. 28, one ready. I, I would like to talk to someone. Go ahead. It's going to be Sam, Tom, Robert, Ida, Nora, George, 69. I'd like to talk to that officer over there. I should have a lawyer. Uh, uh, there, sir. Be no, that's fine. Sam, Tom, Robert, Ida, Nevit, Bergdahl, 6 9, and it'll be Bugs Toiling County by request in route. Tampa. County 66, you can cancel that 1070. Uh, that's a stringer. I'd like to talk to someone. I'm clear, sir. 66 for love and direct. I'll talk to you outside. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can try. We can try to do like a little mini interview or something. I I, I want to talk to the to Marcel. You can't just get me in the car and be like, that. and just walk off. Right. Great perp shot of you in the back of the car. Nice. Thanks. You, you can Thanks. cancel the Good cancel on that footage. 1070. Uh, have bitch. them in route, bitch, please. please. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Ten seventy. Are you exit camera mode? It's getting in. Could be East what were you trying to get attention? Just... You can't just tow my vehicle, stick me in a car without reading my rights or do or saying anything to me. I told you, um, I'm going to talk to you and stay at the station. You attacked another party with your No, case, so I was performing a citizen's arrest, which I'm well within my legal rights to do so. Performing a citizen's arrest is my legal right. I'm allowed to do that, especially when said citizen has a weapon and turns to look at me. I don't know why he was going to do it. I was well he within was striking distance. Standing, he was standing at least 10 feet away from you, so that's no immediate threat with a baseball bat. And you pulled a taser on him and started tasing him. That's just why I put you in the cuffs. I was performing a citizen's if arrest. With a taser. Which is not allowed. Tasers are legal. Well, tasers are, but you cannot use them on people just to arrest them. If you feel like arresting someone, I was standing only 20 meters away so I could see you. He could have easily got away or attempted to attack me with a baseball bat. Yeah, but what's potentially going to happen is nothing of your concern. Well, yeah, it is if it directly involves me. So you are not a police officer, you so you are not allowed to pull people into chains just if you feel like it. I was not. I was performing a citizen's arrest, as I've stated multiple times. Yes, and we will investigate that and we'll drive you to the station and if it turns out that he's not gonna press charges, then you're fine and I will give you the money to get your insurance back, okay? That's bullshit, but okay would get that they were trying to help the officer yeah. yeah a tow truck totally just pulled up on scene to tow my vehicle which was already towed 
And so a legit also, tow truck actually showed up. Yeah, also... Um, was the first one county? Yeah, he wasn't meant to delete the car. But um, I explained, I was citizen's arrest. He didn't even talk to me or read me my rights or do anything. He just towed my vehicle. You can't just do that. Captain I would Miranda, say... I if a, if a person is there attacking an object with a weapon within 10 feet of me, I would say I'm well within my rights to taser them and citizens arrest them. Mr. Burton, you understand why you, why you are being arrested, correct? Yes, I do, but you also must understand that I was improperly arrested as my rights were not read to me and nobody spoke to me. They just towed my vehicle without consent or, refer, or talking to me. And also, I was well within my rights in what I did. I used reasonable force to apprehend someone who's causing criminal damage to public property, which under Florida statute is perfectly legal. If he has a deadly weapon, a baseball bat is non-lethal. No, that applies to any crime you can... Uh, citizens arrest Sir, someone who is committing uh, any crime under Florida me. state statute using force you deemed reasonable. Hey, hey, I'm talking, hold on. I used to be a stringer. And I was charged with the same thing. So you for, must understand. Uh, right. And I was told to stay back or I'm going to jail. So you must understand. I've been in your position. And I've been charged with obstruction. And all I did, the police lost eyes. And I made a citizen's arrest. I didn't ob obstruct the guy. I didn't tase him. I told him not to move. That's all I did was verbally say, do not move. And I called the police. And I, I was still served with obstruction. I can appreciate that. I would also argue that that was wrongful arrest. Under Florida statute, I even checked this before I became a stringer. You can use um, force to apprehend someone to perform a citizen's arrest if they're causing injury to another person or damage to property, which they was. I used reasonable force and he had a weapon which is threat to life. I would like to know exactly what I did Look, outside of the law. The, the governor... The governor of San Andreas informed me that we are to interfere with any police interactions. We can be on site, away, like across the street. We're not to be near any cop cars at all. We have to keep a distance of at least two to five hundred feet. It literally says under law, I can there. I can appertain and use force to appertain somebody who is caught committing a crime until a police officer arrives. I was merely just attempting to there arrest was a him. There police officer on scene. Yes, there, but he you, would not have reached the there, suspect before the he ran off. I, I see what you you're saying, but the police officer him, was many yards away from where the crime happened. I was merely trying to detain him until the officer was within distance where he could actually appertain him. Under law, I did nothing wrong, and that's my argument. I would like someone well, to tell me exactly well, you're, you're what I did wrong. Today. You're going to be charged. You you were obstructing justice. There was a law enforcement on scene. You tased a guy, so that guy wanted to press. But the law enforcement was not on being, scene. He was a good being, forty talking, to fifty yards away. Yeah, I'm talking as well. Right, I have the right to freedom of speech. The, the police officer was not on yeah, scene. Go get in front of those doors. You're, the bus is here, and you can take it up with the governor. You see, that's just your defense because you lost. I'm also suing for emotional distress and no, trauma. No, because I'm trying to explain the situation to you, and you won't shut up. What gives you the I right to talk over me? You know, we both well. have equal rights. Well, apparently I don't, right, actually. Well, you asked a question, I'm trying to give you an answer, and you want to keep talking. You don't like my answers, so you want to keep talking over me. I would just now, like to know like which to law I broke. here and be quiet for five minutes, I will tell you which law. I was trying to explain to you which law you were breaking. But if you want to keep buttoning with your opinion, which right now you have no opinion, the only right you have is to remain silent. Do you understand? I have the right to freedom of expression. That's human right under the Geneva Code. Oh, you, Thank you, very you much. are right now in custody with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The under only right no you circumstances have can the right to freedom the right of speech to be in, in preach, uh, breached. All right. Are you going to be quiet and listen to what I have to say? I'll listen, but I'd like to know exactly what law I broke and when. I'm going to explain that to you. Okay. Now, if you be I'm quiet, listening. I will gladly explain it to you. The reason oh, why you are this. under arrest right now is because the gentleman that you tased wanted to press charges for assault. Which you did assault him. I used he an amount the of... right to do that. And I have the right the to citizens arrest okay. him using what I deem to be sufficient force, right, which I did. Nowhere. 
That's just because you're wrong. Okay, sorry. 411. He, he can take it up. Yeah. No, you. I will explain everything to my commissioner, and he will gladly explain it to you. Now, I guarantee you, you're not going to be talking over the commissioner. I so just get him here, and I guarantee I will. It. Yeah, he will be here. Awesome. Sir, as I explained several times to you, there was no threat to your life, so tasing someone is excessive force, and that is why I'm arresting you for battery. I will not go with aggravated battery since you tried to save my vehicle, which was unnecessary, but still the issue is at hand. But so that's going to be a first degree misdemeanor. If in the law it said they was assaulting someone and that's it, I would agree with you. However, it also states under citizen's arrest statute that if they're causing damage to public or private property, which he was, it doesn't have to be a threat to me. Sorry. I can arrest someone just for causing damage to property. You weren't, you weren't doing a citizen's arrest. You assaulted somebody. Now, I was had performing you not a citizen's arrest. At him, listen, had you not fired your taser at him, and he stopped, and you performed a citizen's arrest, that's different. But you fired the weapon, which is a weapon, and you were in the wrong. So we'll get the commissioner, and he can explain it to you. Happily. I guarantee you right now it's not going to be right this second. So you'll have to get with him later, okay? Well, it says in the law I can use force I deem necessary, which I did, so... Thank you very much. Where's my Sir, bus? I still got any Actually, what's my bail? I want to pay my bail. Then if you do not... So are you still arguing with us or no? Oh, I'm gonna argue this all the way through the courts. You can bet your bottom dollar I will. Right, in that case I'm gonna charge you with aggravated battery, which is now a felony of the third degree. Because you apparently do not want to listen to us I'm sorry no that is Actually, completely that's... illegal you can't up the charges just I because don't... of your opinion I did not up the charge I downed it for you because I wanted you to actually not go to jail but still you wanted arguing so that's that I'm arguing because I'm correct under Florida statute which this state runs off he you said told he reduced your charges, so now yes. he's giving you the full charges. He told me he was reducing you. my charges, then he upped them for no reason. He told me that I was being charged with battery, not aggravated battery, so that is what I'll be charged with. It's at his discretion in that regard, depending on what the evidence is. And it's is. also discretion to use a to taser to perform a citizen's arrest, but apparently my opinion doesn't matter. I will argue this all day long because I know I'm right under Florida statute, which this state r That's runs great. off. You could be right in the cell block. Just get him processed. Happily. What's my bail? Some right at the bottom left corner. It's gonna be one hundred thousand dollars. That's bullshit. Also, I'm still in cuffs. Okay, I'm definitely taking this to court. Wanna blame ya? You gotta fight that shit. So we get for tasing me. Alhambra, Alhambra, look, keep an eye out for it. Um, He's down here. Can someone just point out that I'm getting murdered right now? Murdered? Yeah. They put me in the same cell as the guy in jail, and I'm still in cuffs. I'm dead. No, I'm not. What the fuck was that? What the fuck is this guy doing? Where is it? Where is it? Nothing yet. Nothing, nothing. Right, so we're going up to Sandy Shore Station to request the highest ranking officer. God knows who that is and threaten to sue them, we're going to be filing a class action lawsuit against Sandy Shaw's, well, Blaine County Sheriff's Department for harassment, uh, wrongful arrest, uh, negligence, well, bodily injury caused by negligence, and, um, That's what else got going there? trying to think what a good way to phrase it would be because they upped my charges just because I argued my own defense what would that come under hmm that's a good one I'm gonna just go for false imprisonment gonna follow you as a stringer <laughs> follow me as a stringer there it is if you want to like but if they try to arrest the lawyers for 10 8 then I gotta shoot it Oh yeah, you can be a 10-8 reporter or something. Like you're just the guy that's just there for our protection. That's right. Mm-hmm. 10-8 security. 10-8 security, there it is. 
this is going to be fucking great. Right, before we actually pull up, I want to uh, compile a list of things I'm going to be suing for. Just write them down so I don't forget them halfway through. Right. Um. I was about to say, you better not flip a bitch for me. I was going to say, it looks like it's about to flip. Wrongful imprisonment causing injury due to negligence, criminal injustice, and wrongful arrest. Sounds about right. I was about ready to say, you block me in, bitch, we're going to have a problem. <clears throat> I am recording on my dash cam. Where are you? Um, Alhambra gas station. Yeah. I'm claiming for five million. Nice. You best better be sure that we're helping you on this one. Oh yeah. Right, ready to roll up? Yep. Thought he was gonna oh, try and pull the me car over then. That's you right there? Yeah. Nice, hang on, my car won't start. Can't love it. There we go. Ready when you are. This is funny, we're rolling up in black cars. What the fuck is across the road there? Okay, there's a gl fucking texture glitch on my screen. Oh, better park correctly, I'm a <laughs> well-respected lawyer. Whoa! My god, you look like you're fucking baked. Rings, bell. Sandy Shores Police State. Oh, Carswell Station. Rings bell at Sandy Shores Police Station for assistance. Oh, this is a major texture issue is going on for me. I don't know what that was. Oh, here's a cop. Here we go. A cop coming up. Oh, nope, he's circling around. Seriously? He's just standing out here watching me smoke. And he's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'll go talk to him for you. Nah, don't worry about it. Nah, don't worry about it. We look like straight up fucking mafia bosses. <laughs> right? God, I love it. Just standing at the railing doing nothing. What is that texture issue happening for me right now? Some weird fucking bar across the screen. What? Yeah, it's like floating through the map. Yeah, we're not threatening them or anything, we're just saying that they are going to be sued for that. And then we're arguing my case. Well, my client's case. Our client's case? Yeah. They didn't even give me a chance to post bail. Not even kidding. I offered to pay bail and they just arrested me. Randomly stops in the middle 24 of the 24-7. There it is! There it is! <laughs> oh, big ass I had the truck come in. Because why not? I swear to god, if you need so many cops for one little fucking minor scenario, we're gonna have a fucking issue. <laughs> I know. We the same cop that arrested you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope it is. I'd love to see that. You mean oh, fucking Marcel? Here he comes. Yep, it's him. It's Marcel, is it? Guy with the cowboy hat. There's a lot of them that wear no, cowboy that's hats. Not Marcel. There we go. About time. Good evening, sir. My name is Solomon Ritchie. I am a lawyer from 108 News, and I'm here to give you the paperwork pertaining to a case which my client is um, filing against the Blaine County Sheriff's Office for five million dollars. That's going to be for wrongful imprisonment, causing bodily injury due to negligence, criminal injustice, and wrongful arrest. I'd also like to know why my client was um, faced with these things. I believe that a uh, court hearing is going to be on the 30th of this month. I appreciate that, but I would still day. like to speak to somebody about why this happened so I can set up my paperwork and set up my defense against the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Sure, that's fine. Here, I'll give you uh, Commissioner Roberts 228's phone number. Uh, you can reach him on his mobile Discord device. I appreciate that. Mm. And his name is uh, 228, and he's the police commissioner. Okay, here is the paperwork. Do you have anything to say regarding the um, lawsuit? 
I don't. You can talk to my lawyer if we're going to go to court with it. Uh, this is going to court, so I can assure you that. I'd also like the case number and the name of the officers involved, because that was not um, given to my client before he was imprisoned wrongfully. Case number is going to be 3279, and it's Officer... They ever read your rights to you? Yeah. Which is me. And uh, Deputy 411, which is uh, Marcel. Called it! Uh, what was the other officer? I have Deputy 411 Marcel, and what was your name, sir? 626 Jeremy. 626 Jeremy. Okay, sir. So, and um, why exactly was my client arrested? I've seen his footage from his glasses. And it appears to me that there is no reason for my client to have been wrongfully arrested. He was arrested for assault and uh, obstruction of a police investigation. By assault, are you referring to the taser which was deployed on... I don't have the name of the defendant, that was also not provided to my client. Yeah, we're not at liberty to release his name, but yeah, that's correct. Okay, and is there any reason he was then put in the same jail cell as said person, which resulted in bodily injury to my client? Could have been placed in the other jail cell next to it. Well, that seems to be negligence to me because he was placed in the same cell, which resulted in being beaten quite badly, causing permanent injuries to his face. Other cops coming in? Well, uh, once he leaves our custody here and is transferred know. on the bus, I have to have control of where they, which cell they put him in. Okay, and who would have control of that? That's going to be the county uh, transportation. Okay, well, they will also be mentioned in the lawsuit then. But um, going back to the original reason my client was arrested, I've reviewed the footage from his um, the camera which was concealed in his glasses, and... It appears to me that he did not act out of law or Florida statute in any way. He was merely citizens arresting a person. Like I said, you can uh, talk to the commissioner on that. He's got our full report. He's just waiting on yours. Okay. Is there any reason you personally can't answer this since you were the officer involved? Yeah, like now, I, said, I have uh, a question for you there, my man. Go for it. Now, unless I'm... Unless I'm badly mistaken, the state of, the state of San Andreas is a two-party consent state. Barring that both parties involved fully cognizant of the fact that they're being reported in any given conversation or interaction. Are you telling me your client was illegally wiretapping a uh, interaction with law enforcement? Uh, no, that is not the case. My client has the right to record anywhere in public. He does not have to declare the fact that he does have a concealed camera. I believe his client now, was screen, which would have been fine. San Andreas is superior court. I disagree with you there, man. I see not. Also, um, he was a, a licensed stringer for 108 News oh, oh, Center. Oh, 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 you can talk to my lawyer. You can talk to the commissioner. It's rude to interrupt someone, sir. Um, my client was a registered stringer for 108 News Agency. And um, as part of that, we have licenses to film in public and dangerous places, uh, anywhere in the world, essentially, uh, providing the country signed given constitutions. That's not why your client is in trouble. He's not in trouble for filming. He's not in trouble for being on scene. He's in trouble for interacting with the scene, getting involved, uh, taking it upon himself to uh, fire off a weapon at a person that we are trying to get in custody. That's uh, obstruction of justice there. Um, I would disagree for, with like that. Said, Under Florida statute, free. you are allowed to use reasonable force to detain a person until an officer arrives on scene. The camera not, in my client's glasses... Not on an active crime scene when an officer was there. An officer was not like on said, scene. I've can, seen the footage. There was a good 40 to 50 yards between the officer and, the, and my client. He was merely attempting to detain the person involved who was actively committing a Sir. act of criminal damage against uh, government and public property. He was well within his rights to attempt to detain the person. There was no officer immediately on scene. Alright, sure. 
Not a problem. So, like I said, our commissioner has the report. Uh, he's waiting on your reply. So, take it up with him. We don't have time for this, honestly. We're really busy today. So, uh, we'll see you later. Okay, do you have any intention on harassing any other clients today that I could be the lawyer of? Did you have anything, any information here, sir, or are you with this guy? He's my... I'm with this guy, but pretty much he said it all. Yeah. I don't care if any stringers are in there. They need to stay back. They need to stay away from the crime scene. They can film. For their safety as much they as can anything do what else. They want. Yeah, I your, understand the that. should should be wearing a vest of some sort in case... You know, a suspect shoots at them. We're not responsible for their safety. Yeah, they're well aware of their safety as a concern. 108 News does provide ballistic vests if they choose to do so. However, the ballistic vests were in the vehicle. There was no need to have them at the current moment. <laughs> I can give you a, a physical demonstration of how far they need to be from the scene if you'd like. I would love to see that. All right, let's go outside. Say this is a scene here. We're arrived mm -hmm. on the scene. Suspects right here, right? You guys need to be at least across the road. Under which statute or law is that? That's going to be the Orange County Stringer Rules and Regulations. Okay, I'll certainly that, refer to that. that for you. Okay, that is fine. I can certainly um, appreciate that. As I said, though, I've given you the paperwork. My client and 108 News uh, will jointly be uh, filing a lawsuit against uh, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office for $5 million for the following things. Wrongful imprisonment causing bodily injury due to negligence, criminal injustice and wrongful arrest. Okay, sir, you have a we'll very nice there. day, and if you harass my you client well. again, further lawsuits will be filed. Thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> Dude, I think I'd make a sick lawyer. Yeah, you would. <laughs> that was wicked. I walked through the window so I could hear you guys. Oh, yeah. I was just standing there quiet, he's like, nope, be staying at all. He had no, me at the guys, end. I'll be honest, I didn't read the SOP, so he might have had me at the end. I'll have to read that before I go to court. However, no. there was no crime scene tape up. That reminds me of a joke. In my neck of the woods, oh, crime scene tapes woods. means your barrier. Like, if there's no tape, there's no barrier. Exactly. The or if there's no barriers, period. Mm-hmm. Right, so yeah, my client... Or, or if a cop comes over and is like, stay back or stay right, right here. Mm-hmm. My client, Nicholas Putin, will be filing the lawsuit I mentioned. I reckon I can win that. I honestly do reckon I can win that. Where are you? Garage in my car. Oh. I'm at the um, gas station in Panorama. But yeah, I nice. seriously reckon I can win that. That would be sick. Alright guys, that's going to do Whoa. it for today. Troy, thanks. <laughs> Yep, That's going to no do problem. it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you come back for this. Actually, this is an ongoing case. Um, those lawsuits genuinely. The the yeah, they genuinely are being filed against the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I'm, I'm not joking. Not RP in this. Genuinely, we're filing a class action lawsuit against them, and uh, in court, we're going to act as our attorney. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. I reckon I can win this. I think we can win. Well, you can win this. This is your case. Yeah, I'd, I'd make a sick lawyer, bro. Don't forget, I've got the glasses cam as well. Yep. All right, oh awesome. Oh my god, Mr. Wong just walked, ran past. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, as I said, that's going to do it for, all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. So